You are listening to Love, Light, Lonnie, the podcast. I'm Lonnie Nishiyama, and join me as we discover the gifts that live within all of us and how these gifts bring us together to love, help others, inspire, and of course, vibrate higher. Welcome to Love, Light, Lonnie. Hi, it's Lonnie, and I am back for another episode because it's been a hot second. I was going to say minute, but like it wasn't that long. I just feel that there was a lot of things happening in my life, i.e. my kids were sick back to back over and over and over again. I don't know what is going around right now, but it is like taking us all out. I am still recovering, but um, I'm okay. I just have a lingering cough for the rest of my life. Um, I am so grateful because honestly, guys, I just had a birthday yesterday. Wait, was it yesterday? It was two days ago. I'm sorry. Like, I don't even know what day it is. I just had a birthday on Pi Day and I'm so excited. That's why I'm wearing my aquamarine sweater and my aquamarine ring that my grandma gave me. And she's about to be 94. Can you believe that? And she's healthy and walks up and down the stairs and doesn't even use a cane. And it's insane. But um, good genetics. She's Okinawan. So thank you, Grandma. I um, have just been kind of like reassessing everything in my life because Saturn is in Pisces or whatever that means. But I... I've definitely feel every time around my birthday that, and this is for you guys too, around your birthdays, I don't know how you feel, but I'm going to tell you how I feel. And it doesn't mean what I feel is what you feel, but this is what I've been feeling. So I had a birthday and I always reassess the past year, which we really shouldn't do. And excuse the construction behind me. They're building a brand new home across the street. It's like loud, but it's going to be beautiful. So I'm happy for them, but it's loud. Um... So basically, I was reassessing my entire life and I realized this past year I have done a lot and I also didn't do things I wanted, but then I realized why am I beating myself up about this? Like I should be grateful for everything that I've done, everything that I've learned. I... um, I learned so much. It's kind of crazy. Actually, when you really think about it, I'm sorry. I keep touching my hair because it's like I didn't really do it. So excuse it. Um, Not that that matters. But I was not giving myself enough credit for the things I have done. You know, I try to be an amazing mom. Um, Not perfect. I try to be a good mom. You know, I feel like if I'm self-aware and aware of their feelings and – Um, their growth, then we're good. I was trying to grow myself. I went through a couple of dark times. I was kind of like reassessing my own worth and like who I am and like what I have to offer to the world, if anything. And then I realized like, stop, Lonnie, like you're really bringing yourself down. And I'm like, you have a lot to offer. So just be more confident, you know? Um, And let me tell you, I had a great birthday, but it was a little rough. Like, I had friends over and, you know, we drank and we had a good time, but I think I was just not in the right state of mind either. Um, and I realized that I it's just not about that. Like, I should be giving love to everyone else and I'm appreciative that these people even wanted to show up and um, celebrate um, just another year with me. Life can be cut short and you never know when that's going to happen. I normally don't talk about this stuff, but um, I had an ex-boyfriend from college who actually passed away and a long time ago. And I never really like dealt with it or I did, but I didn't. And I was like, well, you know, it's his path. It's his journey, you know, my woo-woo self. But really, it's like I look at him and I'm grateful because he has shown me how much I need to appreciate every single day that I'm here on earth. And he always lived his life to the fullest. And I did appreciate that about him because he was like life of the party, class clown, like really funny guy. Um, And I will forever miss him. Um, Ooh, I don't want to cry. But, you know, it's just like a really good reminder that, yes, your birthday comes around. Be grateful. 
Like, and what what do you want to accomplish, Lonnie? Go forward. Look at all the things you have done. Like, be proud of yourself. So I'm trying to do that, and I'm living in that truth now. And I also re- recognize another thing. I always want, oh, not my friends, but like, I want my husband to buy me this or show me this affection. It's not really gifts. I don't care about the money thing at all. But I'm like, you know, a nice card or some. And he did do all those things, which is sweet. But it's like, why am I wanting that so much? Like, why am I putting so much pressure on someone else to make me feel good about myself on my birthday? When at the end of the day, the person that's going to make me feel good about myself on my birthday is me. And I am the one that's supposed to know my worth and feed my soul and love myself. And if that person wants to give it, great. If not, it doesn't matter because they're living in their own world and their own truth and their own upbringings and their baggage and their growth, right? It has nothing to do with me. What other people do has nothing to do with me. And I was taking things way too personally, I think, in this time. But now I'm reflecting and being like, okay, Lonnie, like, you're good. Um, and I really do have a nice life. I have good health. I have amazing food. My fridge is always filled. I have a roof over my head, a nice one, and I'm grateful for it. Don't think I don't appreciate that. I get to be by the beach every day. I get to move my body and work out. I get to experience my children and love them. I have good friends. I have good family members. I really feel blessed. Nothing's ever perfect and it's never perfect. But then what would life be? Because without the shadow, you would never have the light. And without the light, you would never have the shadow. I had to learn that recently. <laughs> and it's really important to know that it's okay to have the darkness because you need the darkness to shine. Otherwise, the light would be shining on nothing, <laughs> you know? So we are supposed to have these ups and downs and it's a, it's a good thing. And it's okay to feel them and own it and love it. And my birthday also is so strange because it's on the same day as Albert Einstein. Is that strange or is it just really awesome? I know, right? Like how awesome is it to share a birthday with him? But like I can't live up to Albert Einstein at all. Like he's obviously an inventor and a creator and a scientist and a philosophical genius. So I'm not going to be on that level. But I – um I'm just grateful to be born on Pi Day, share that with him. Also, Steph Curry found out who I love. He's I'm obsessed with him and his wife, like, and she's a cook. Hello. Um, so it, it's been a really cool experience this year. It's different than other years because I think in the past I've just been like, live it up on your birthday, like, woohoo, or just really depressed. Or but this year I kind of felt both. And I am grateful for that because I had the light and I had the shadow. (laughs) And I also recently have been working on things for myself in my own career, in my own um, personal pursuits, if you will. And I'm really proud of myself because I've not taken a back burner, but definitely taken a few steps back to just like, you know, be at home with my kids, which I wouldn't trade for the world because they're amazing, you know, and I've done little things here and there. But now I'm really ready to work and and do my own thing because I think if my cup is full and I am happy and I'm doing my thing, then my kids will see that as an example and I want them to do that for themselves too. Also, something really unique about March is it's like such a rainy time. And this is going to sound crazy, but my mother... I recall her telling me, I remember the day you were born. It was raining and lightning and thunder. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, that is crazy. Like, I was born in a storm. Well, it kind of makes sense. I'm kind of like psycho like that. But I was born in a storm and lightning and thunder happened and like, boom, here's Lonnie. She's alive on earth. So on my birthday this year, it was all of those things pouring rain, lightning, thunder. I'm like, okay, like this is just so fitting. Like I feel like it was a rebirth for me and I needed to experience that to um, find my truth and what I'm really moving forward towards. And what I am moving towards is 
I want to take this podcast, this brand, this creation, if you will, I don't, I hate saying brand, but it's a thing, um, and move it to the next level and create a show and create something even bigger. So that is my goal this year. I want to get out there and do that. Yes, I love all the small gigs. I Yes, I love, all, you know, I'm the kind of girl where I book the job, I'm going to take the job. <laughs> but I also want to create something that is aligned with who I am, where I can share my gift with the world. And that gift is something that I've kind of lightly touched upon throughout, um, you know, many of these podcasts. And my friends know, my family knows, but I am very connected. I'm a spiritualist. I'm an intuitive. I'm a medium if they call it that, but I just connect to a lot of people on the other side. And I don't think it's a negative thing like um, I think some religions look down upon it, but I think it's a beautiful gift to just have from God and um, I'm grateful for it. So I'm coming out <laughs> and I didn't think I'd be coming out on this podcast right now, but here I am doing it. So it must be meant to be. I am connected. I do um, feel the energy of the other side of spirit and I hate the other side. It's just like it's all around us. We all are the same. We are all connected. And God is a beautiful source and protects us and guides us. And I'm just lucky to be so connected to that source. That's it. Um, and if you guys ever doubt yourself or have weird dreams or feel weird vibes, just follow your intuition. Follow your heart. Listen to yourself because that's all it is. It's not like I wake up every day and I'm like in the sixth sense in the movie, okay? It's not that crazy. Like, relax. It's just like I am connected and um, I think all of us are. All of us have gifts. That's why I started this podcast because I was like, all of us have gifts. We're all connected in some way and and some people, we help others through health, through um love through readings through you know even the priests and pastors and everybody they're all helping people and it's beautiful and i think that we're all connected that way and it's like if as long as you're operating from a place of love and light that's that's it and by light i mean god you know source whatever you believe in and so follow that and you can't go wrong okay and I'm 37, just so you know. I'm getting up there, but it's not too bad. Have a good one, guys. Bye.